Like alcohols, amines are also classified as primary, secondary and tertiary. Now let us bring in some amines. Take a look at these. I want you to classify them. What about this one? Looks like a primary amine. That's correct. One cursory glance and you can figure that this is a secondary amine while this one is a tertiary amine. Perhaps strangely, all these compounds happen to be primary amines. Hold your horses, let me explain. Amines are classified as primary, secondary or tertiary depending on the number of organic substituents attached to the nitrogen atom. For instance, methylamine is a primary amine, dimethylamine is a secondary amine and trimethylamine is a tertiary amine. I agree, this is not consistent with what we saw with alcohols or alkyl halides. When we speak of a tertiary alcohol or an alkyl halide, we refer to the degree of substitution at the alkyl carbon atom to which the functional group is attached. Contrarily, when we refer to a tertiary amine, we point to the degree of substitution at the nitrogen atom. Hence, look at these compounds. This one is a tertiary halide, but this here is a tertiary amine, whereas this one is a primary amine. Don't get confused by the name. Although it is a tertiary butyl amine, it still is a primary amine. For the last time, let us look at some examples of primary amines, secondary amines, as well as tertiary amines. Naturally, the next question is, how do we name these? The common names are very simple to use. We just use the format alkyl amine. For instance, this is isopropylamine, this is trimethylamine and this one is diisobutylamine. Likewise, there are aniline, toluidine, cyclohexyl dimethylamine. As a final example, try naming this. We want the common name of this particular compound. With some more examples, let us try and figure out the IUPAC name of some amines as well. This one is pretty easy, isn't it? This is called butan 2 amine. What about this compound? There is an N-substituted methyl group and the amine is on carbon number 2. So butan 2 amine makes sense, but then how do we signify where the methyl group is. So we name this compound N-methyl butan 2 amine. As a last and final example, we have this. The COOH group is the principal functional group. So it has to be an acid, is it not? Since the amino group is on the beta carbon atom, this is beta amino butyric acid. It is not butanoic acid, it is butyric acid. The most generic template as in RNH2 so this would be called a primary amine. If any more of the hydrogen atoms are replaced by other alkyl groups, we call them secondary amines and tertiary amines respectively. Now, if you look at the alkyl group as in R, it can be a normal aliphatic alkyl group or it could be an aryl group. What is interesting here is that the primary, secondary and tertiary amines are all functional isomers of each other. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's The Learning App today.